Hey, boys and girls, it's Mr. McAndrew, the math coach. Very excited to be with you again today. Um, we're going to do some more measuring uh, and doing like like height and fig figuring things out. Super fun using our tape measure, right? And um, what else are we doing? Oh, some practice with the skills we were working on yesterday, okay? But I was going to say, but first, but no, that's too bad. First... I want to show you something from yesterday. This is um, the word problem you had from um, Monday, from yesterday. I forgot to mention that I also included a number line here. I know some of you have been using these. Um, and if not, I just wanted to show you uh, how it can work. Okay, so check this out. All right, so um, let's say that you are 52 inches and we were subtracting 8. Okay, so, oh, sorry, my head's in the way there. Let me move my head out of the way and move it uh, down here. So let's say we're doing 52 minus 8, okay? Uh, and number lines, okay, are a fantastic way for thinking, thinking about how to solve a problem. Um, even if you don't draw it out, even just having the visual in your head is a really good one. So let me show you what I mean, okay? So this is an open number line. It means that there's no numbers on it. I can put them wherever I want. Um, if this is zero, I can put 52 wherever I want. I'm gonna subtract, so I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, so that's 52. Now if I'm subtracting eight, right? Um, I always like to, if I can use a multiple of 10, by that I mean, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These are really good uh, benchmarks or places to land because they're easy to get to, right? So for example, I know if I hop back, if I jump back two, if I take away two, I land on 50, right? That's a nice benchmark. So I need to take away eight. I've already taken away two. And I know that eight is made up of two and six, which means I need to take away six more. All right, so I'm gonna start at 50 and hop back six more. Now, 50 minus six is a lot easier for me than doing like 52 minus eight, okay? So 50 minus six, I can do that in my head, right? Because I can think of 10 minus six is four, so 50 minus six is 44. And in fact, that is the answer, okay? So I wanted to point that out to you as another possible way to solve these problems, okay? All right, so let's move on to the problem from today. It is, um, it says Tuesday word problem, uh, add or subtract. So please turn to that in your packet and stop the video, all right? Get the... Get the page that you need, and when you're ready, come on back. All right, here we go. Okay, boys and girls, so let's let's take a look at this. All right, it says Tuesday word problem. The first question is, how tall are you in inches? You already know that from the work that you did yesterday. So let's pretend, um, I don't know, let's say that you are, uh, we'll use the same one we did before, right, 52 inches. So we'll say 52 inches. Okay, maybe you're shorter than that. Maybe you're taller than that. Doesn't matter. Whatever height you are is fantastic because you are fantastic. Okay, now the next question is an interesting one. It says, how tall is someone else you live with? So you're going to have to measure somebody else in your house. It could be whoever you live with. It could be a parent, a guardian, a grandmother, a a sibling, if you have any um, sisters or brothers, um, I guess it could be your dog. <laughs> they might be a little hard to, to get to sit still. I don't know. But you want to measure someone's height. Okay, and again, let me show you. Let me reiterate. We're using the tape measure. Okay, we're using inches, not centimeters. Okay, we're going to be using inches. And we're not turning it into feet. We're just doing the total number of inches. Now, if you measure your, an adult in your household, 
they're probably going to be taller than your tape measure. So maybe you have another tape measure that goes longer, or you can still use this one, right? But when you get to 60, you want to mark off where 60 is, like on the wall, okay? Or put a finger there. Don't, don't mark the wall that if you use like an eraser, a pencil with an eraser or your finger. And then you want to go up and start at one again. Okay, so then you would have to do, so let's say you're measuring an adult and they are 60 and let's say it goes up to 11. Okay, so it would be 60 plus 11, which would be, what is that, 71. So they would be 71 inches. Okay, so if you're measuring like, you know, like one of your sisters or brothers, they might be a little bit taller, a little bit shorter. But, but an adult, like a, your mom or dad or grandmother, whoever, whoever you're with, uh, will be, should be taller. Okay, so let's take a look here. Sorry, I had to get a, had a drink of water there. Something stuck in my throat. So let's pretend like you um, <clears throat> measure your dad. Okay, and um, he is, I don't know, someone like, he's taller than me. So let's say he's 71 inches. Okay. All right, so who is taller and by how many inches is the question, all right? So we already know who's taller, but by how many inches? So there's a few ways we could do this, okay? We could think of um, if we're like drawing a picture, right? We could think of um, there's like you, not very good pictures all right and the and your height is 51 all right and somebody who's taller we're saying is way up here at 70 oh no not uh, sorry 52 and 71 okay so there's a little picture, all right? So you can see that this person, whoever it is, mom, dad, whoever, whatever adult, okay, is taller, right? By, by how much? How much taller? In other words, what's the difference between your height here and their height way up here? So you're trying to find this part, this distance right there from here to here. How much is that? Okay, so we can think of that in different ways. Um, we were just talking about the number line, right? So if we were on the number line, we could put down both heights, right? You could think that's zero, let's say that's 52, and we'll say this is 71. And we're trying to find how much more is 71 inches than your height, which is 52. So we're trying to find this distance right here. So how can we find that? Well, there's a couple ways we could do it. Okay, again, remember, you, we, we like to use, I like to use um, benchmarks of 10, right? So if I'm at 52, I'm going to jump up to 60, okay? And I know how to get from 52 to 60 is just a hop of 8, all right? I can do that in my head, all right? And then to get to from 60 to 71, I just have to go 11. Or if that's too much, you could just do another hop to 70, right? So that hop from 60 to 70 would be adding 10 more. It's a hop of 10. And then it's just one more little hop to get to 71. So now I've hopped 8, 10, and 1. That means I've hopped, let's see, 8 plus 10 is 18, plus one more is 19. And in fact, that is the answer between 52 and 71 is 19 inches. All right, but you could have also solved it another way. <clears throat> you could have started at 71, right? And hop backwards. I mean, why not, right? Because, okay, well, if I jump back one, that's 70, hop back 10 more, that's 60, and hop back eight more, that gets me to 52, you're still measuring the distance between 52 and 71, which is 19, 
okay? Now, the number line may not be something you're comfortable with yet. So when you do your problem, you might want to use this, okay? So in that case, you would have 71 minus, um, sorry, I'm not showing it, 71 minus 52. Okay, so let's show 71. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, subtracting 52. Okay, so <clears throat> let me erase this just to make it more straightforward. All right. So again, just to do a quick subtraction problem here, um, we could do uh, take away, um, we can't take away two from one, so we have to open up, we have to break up or regroup one of these tens. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and turn it into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now instead of having one here, I have 11. And instead of having 70 over here, I now have 60. I still have six tens. But now, right, I can take away two. One, two. And I'm left with eight, nine. I still have nine ones. And I still, if I take away 50 over here, that means five tens. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still left with one ten. So that means I have a ten. And again, look, 10 plus 9 equals 19, okay? All right, so you will have different numbers. Your height might be 47 or 49 or 54, and the other person's height might be shorter than yours or higher. But you need to find um, how much taller the taller person is, okay, using one of these strategies. All right, and then the next thing you need to do, there's one more thing to do, all right, so in your packet, you'll have um, three numbers, 52, 34, and 71. And for each number, just like you did yesterday, I want you to break them up into three different ways, okay, like we've been doing on the math app. Um, I put the link to the math app in the slides, all right, and you can use that, all right? So for example, um, let me show you. All right, so this is what it'll look like when you open it. If down here you click on the colored ones, I like that better. And let's say your number is, I don't know, 40, or let's make it simple, 20, uh, 3. Well, there's one way you could make it already, right? And then remember that, make it a little bit smaller, remember that you can also click on one of these right? And then down here, right there, you can hit that button and it separates it out. So now instead of having, or bring it together. So right now we have two tens or two bags of Skittles and three loose. And if I do this, we now just have <clears throat> one bag of Skittles with 10 and we just poured out the Skittles from this one. And so now we have, you don't even have to separate this right? I just do it to see that, show you that it's all loose. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we have one bag of Skittles or one ten and we have how many ones? We have the three we started with plus the ten more we just poured out. So that means we have 13. All right. And then I could also just empty out this one. So now we have zero tens, right? No bags, but we have 23 loose Skittles, all right? These would just be like all poured out, okay? All right, so when you do your papers, okay, you wanna do the same thing, but just write it out the way I showed you yesterday. All right, now at the end, I will tell you, there is a challenge problem, okay? It looks like this. All right, so boys and girls, you do not have to do this problem, but it will say 135, it is optional. Optional means you don't have to do it. But I think it'd be super fun to try. Um, so real quick, look, if you click on this 100, then you can click this and watch what happens. It turns into 10 tens, okay? So then that's another way you can think about it, all right? It's an optional idea. It's an optional problem for you to work on. Um, if, it, if it feels like it's too confusing, that's fine. Just do the other three, okay? All right, boys and girls, do a good job. Um, be safe, be kind, be well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.